Now the focus of your workshop this week is going to be on taking these content descriptors and applying them to a lesson activity. Coming up with a lesson activity, or in this case doing an, a lesson activity, that addresses the content descriptors. Remember the focus is always on the content descriptors. What that describes what your students are learning. The lesson activities are just the framework to achieve that. Now, this week you're going to be learning about a content descriptor to do with engineering uh, and various properties of materials. And you're going to be using a particular technology, um, which is the Tinkercad um, computer-aided design software. Sounds all complex and difficult, but in reality it's fairly um, nice and simple and easy to use. So the idea of this is you're going to be building um, 3D models of animals. Now, the content descriptor that you're looking at is the idea of various materials and systems and components and tools can affect their use when pro um, producing design solutions. So, essentially, you're looking at how we can use various tools and techniques to create a design solution. And what I'd like you to consider is how it is different to how you might do it in a classroom environment. Now, those that are doing it in the on-campus tutorials are using 3D printed pens to make their um, animals. You are going to be using um, 3D software to design and build your animals. So your animals will be virtual, theirs will be physical. How is that different? How are we learning about things differently by using those different approaches. That's an example of using different properties and materials and ap approaches for a design and technology solution. Now, if you're building the physical objects, you might look at, okay, what if we made the animals out of ice? Or what if we made them out of wood or plastic or metal? There are a range of different approaches we could take to making these objects, or in your case, digital. How does that change the use and properties of that object? Now, you could use your objects, your 3D animals, and put them into a digital movie or onto a poster, whereas a physical object might be able to be used as a doorstop or as a, um, a tea bag holder, which is one of the examples in the material you're going to look at. So have a look at the materials, look at the different guides and approaches, look at the software, Familiarize yourself with that and about making simple objects and shapes. Um, there's a couple of little simple tutorials that you can go through. And in the workshop, you're going to work with your tutor and they'll take you through and discuss and explore your 3D objects. But the more you can do beforehand, the more successful you'll be during the workshop and be able to focus on the learning outcomes, which are exploring the different ways and approaches of doing these activities. Now, the second aspect of the task is for you to consider how this one activity, um, we call it an elaboration, is addressing the designer technology content descriptor, but can it also address a digital technologies content descriptor? Can you find in the digital technologies curriculum, sorry, design, yeah, sorry, digital technologies curriculum, a content descriptor that can also be addressed by this activity. So see if you can go through the content descriptors for digital technologies and find one that relates to learning through doing this activity.